Hello, everyone. My name is Ram Ramanathan. I'm a vice president of product management here at Ribbon Communication. We're getting into more of the AI, ML, analytics, and automation story, which a lot of our vendors you know, in the community are trying to get to as well. But more importantly, we want to discuss practical AI. I mean, there's a lot of hype around any new technology as we have seen over the years here. Beyond the hype, you know, what are the practical solutions that we can bring to the table right now and build on top of, the, uh, top of that to get to something meaningful in the next three to five years, moving towards more autonomous networks and things of that sort. Uh, when we've been looking at automation in general, um, AI is kind of a new phenomenon, but automation in general, we have always had a siloed approach to automation and Ribbon is no exception, right? So we look at a certain problem and come up with a solution just for that problem, right? Uh, and other vendors have done the same thing. And what we've um, analyzed and um, you know fa found out from the past you know, five to seven years of doing this is basically that's not going to cut it anymore because networks are getting complex. You cannot have fragmented toolkits and fragmented solutions for every single problem out there. So what we've come out is with an architecture that is an outcome-driven architecture. I think this is the biggest differentiator for Ribbon going into this market. And what I mean by outcome-driven architecture is it's not going to be the big rocks of I want to I want to automate the entire life cycle. Okay, that may be a long-term goal, but can you piecemeal this into smaller outcomes that you can then automate completely with one toolkit, one tool chain? So what we're going to see in the core and the edge of the networks is. It's not just enough to deal with multi-vendor networks and to come out with the data analysis and uh, you know give it give insights. It's more about how you give these insights. It's about how do you deliver the results, the human computer interface. That's going to change with Gen AI and uh, you know agentic AI and MCP and so on. It's going to change, and we're going to see more um, recommendations and explainers coming out beyond the data analysis. And that's gonna be the icing on the cake, right? That, that's one piece. Uh, the second piece is uh, you're gonna have multiple agents talk to each other. We, we talk about agentic AI, MCP uh, protocols, and so on. So it's not gonna be the siloed approach anymore. Eventually, it's gonna be multiple agents talking to each other. We are seeing things like, can you raise tickets automatically? Once you RCA a problem, can you raise tickets automatically? I see that as a basic foundation. There's gonna be much more complex agents that are gonna be created and agents talking to each other. Eventually get to maybe four, uh, level four of autonomous networks, if not five at some point. So I think that's where most of the investment is gonna to go towards is the agentic AI, and, and explanations and recommendations of the data and the analysis that we do.